Hi guys, welcome to this video about how I'm trying to protect myself against ransomware. I mean ransomware, we can google that and yeah this is what the web brings up. It is a type of malware from crypto virology that threatens the pu to publish the victim's data or uh, perpetual block access uh, to it unless a ransom is paid um, yeah that's the worst thing actually to block access and that has happened in the past definitely for individuals and companies and some had to pay uh, ransom uh, usually they ask for a couple of hundreds of dollars and you have to pay it to some yeah anonymous uh, receiver usually to uh, yeah using western union or maybe crypto or whatsoever and but the result is that not everybody gets a key then to uh, unlock the computer some pay and the computer is still unlocked so there's no guarantee that you will get your data back so what's really really important is that you uh, make backups of course this is something uh, how to prevent uh, from ransomware uh, yeah do daily backups I'm doing this automatically online because my uh, most valuable data is on Google Drive and I have a backup of the Google Drive locally here uh, but from yeah and then it's replicated to the online Google Drive of course and from there I'm using a service which makes a copy every day and I'm doing this with the spin backup of course it's not free it cost me I think five dollars or something like that every month but it's definitely worth to do that because that's absolutely um, yeah with no like uh, yeah you don't have to do it yourself if you're using a cloud like uh, yeah Google cloud and then you are using a backup from the cloud and so that happens just in the background you don't have to do anything it will just backup your email google drive calendar contacts and even more uh, of course there's not much data to um, backup i think it's limited to 50 gigabytes or something like that but usually if you have just um, like office things or emails or those things uh, it, it shouldn't be a problem so of course if you want to back up uh, videos and photos like thousands hundred thousands then you have to yeah it's the best thing to do it on an external drive maybe manually another really important thing is to use a sandbox browser here I'm using the sandboxy that's uh, where you see this yellow border on this uh, browser frame on the outside when you see the yellow border line then you're su sure that you are safe um, you cannot or no program from the browser can access the hard disk and write uh, down viruses or do anything harmful with your programs or data and yeah it's the sandboxy is uh, absolutely free i'll put down the link into the description as well but there is also software available locally to work which works like an antivirus anti adware anti spyware anti whatsoever uh, but usually the problem is with the most standard antivirus it's not included especially when you use the normal antivirus suit from uh, or suite <laughs> from Microsoft um, so here we have the Windows Defender Security Center a lot of people are not aware 
of that we have a really good virus and threat protection already built in into Windows 10 that's a really really good thing and uh, yeah it doesn't find everything but I'm basically virus free since a couple of years or even yeah, I can't remember when I had my really last bad virus I mean so from time to time there is some adware found something like that but that's that's about it not more so make sure that you activate that I mean I think I had even better uh, experience with my with using Windows Defender compared to friends which uh, who are using um, like McAfee or Norton or other solutions because sometimes they lock out a Windows themselves so uh, I think it's a really good thing to use the built-in system and it has actually a really good reputation I mean my experience is really really good and I always recommend to use that and it's free and so when we are already paying for Windows why shouldn't we use that and what we get the virus and threat protection and I have just checked it and found this now I, I haven't seen that in the news I don't know if there was any news released to that there see it seems that the there is ransomware protection now built in in this Windows Defender Security Center that's an awesome thing just make sure that it's activated and running uh, so that's an absolutely good thing and maybe that's the reason why the threat from ransomware ransomware has gone down so much I mean some people are um, doing backups and and other uh, things or more carefully but uh, yeah as you can see there was a huge spike in 2017 and a little bit after that also 2017 a lot of people and companies have to, had to pay ransom to get access to computers again if they yeah if they got access after paying the ransom but now you see uh, yeah there is every now and then there's a little bit of increase but not extremely so but if you want to have this extra protection I can recommend actually two additional software so the one is from uh, it is the Acronis I think this is from Adobe I'm not 100% sure but I think it's Adobe but anyway yeah they came out in January 2018 with their ransomware protection and it is actually free or it was called to be free and I have installed then or even earlier I think I'm using it even longer probably since 2017 and I have checked uh, now as you can see here um, there's still a personal free data protection and yeah it says Acronis ransomware protection just release free and you can download it and I have it here it's running all the time in the background on my system I've never had the impression that it's consuming too much CPU storage or whatsoever the only thing which I have found is that it uh, causes a little bit or it consumes a little bit of bandwidth so here you can see that's the ARP tray uh, that's also anti-ransomware anti protection it's 10 um, kilobyte I think yeah that's probably 10 kilobyte uh, per second about 0 0.1 megabits per second if I'm not wrong and here again that that's another thing of the same uh, software as it looks so another 0 0.1 megabits per second I mean it's not huge but it's there and it's it's there all the time it's a little bit annoying I don't know what they really do I've never found out what they are really doing I hope they are not causing any damage or yeah, I mean not not uh, 
uh, like copying private data or something like that but it, it it's it's there all the time you can't stop it uh, maybe I'll talk to support anytime um, yeah it, because it, it, it's a little bit annoying but it, it never caused really network con congestion or something like that so I'm not really worried about that but there is also another software which seems not to use so much bandwidth that's the malware byte anti-ransomware anti but it's a bit beta it's 0.9 something version but it's still operable and it says your system is protected real-time protection anti-ransomware protection is enabled and I haven't found any um, network usage or yeah not really noticeable from this thing if you are worried about network too much network being used so maybe you go with this but it doesn't have an official release it was released i think 2016 17 or even earlier it probably has never been updated I, I think there's an update but you have to pay for that's the last version which you uh yeah which you don't have to pay for but i think i mean malware bytes have a really good reputation maybe if this is your favorite uh, uh, there's still a link out there to get this um, beta version so that's a German site chip.de but it's the only really download site from tools which I really trust at the moment and yeah here they say that it was released in 2017 probably really after we had this really huge spike in ransomware and they um, yeah put out this beta version and it's a it's a really good thing I mean yeah it, unfortunately it's German but you can translate it and read and the good thing is it's a generic thing it doesn't actually need updates it is just like monitoring your system and looking if uh, a lot of files are being encrypted and if that happens uh, it will stop this uh, process and so actually it's very generic it doesn't uh, need really to be updated and so if we assume that this beta version was already working perfectly yeah so we don't actually need an update where we have to pay so that's maybe another thing for you uh, to download don't click on this blue thing download click on manual installation and then you get to another website and now on the second page you you can click on this blue thing and yeah after some time it will yeah, yeah i think you have to watch a video so I just turned down the yeah the sound of this advertisement here but at the end yeah you can just click on here and then it will download the installer but maybe you can get it also from another site but we will definitely put down this link as well into the description so I, yeah I mean I have this triple protection here but I mean uh ransomware is really the worst thing which you can what can happen to your system so i mean yeah it's uh, yeah I mean, you can call it paranoia but uh <laughs> at least in 2017 it was so bad I, I decided that i need some additional protection and it didn't hurt me i never had yeah really slowdowns of my system with this setup uh, maybe I could reduce maybe to the windows and one additional thing which probably would be the malware buy because the Acronis uses a little bit of, a lot of bandwidth but on the other side we have the official version for free so um, yeah anyway I mean it's your decision what to do I just hope that I have been able to give you some ideas how you can protect your system a little bit more than just with our, uh, with the standard antivirus or something like that and 
yeah if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time